What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, welcome and welcome to my first video for 2018. Yes, this is going to be my first upload of the year and I'm pretty hyped and excited right now. It is actually the 1st of January right now as I'm filming this. I just woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? I really just want to spend the day filming. So that's what I've been doing. So today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here, but it's with a twist because I am going to be using all of my favorite makeup products from 2017. So these are all products that I was obsessed with, discovered, or just used like constantly and yeah, essentially this is gonna be a big fat favorites video for you guys. So if you do enjoy this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I like to make sure that I am nicely hydrated and that means facial sprays. So this year I was so obsessed with these things right here. The Maribadescu facial sprays makes my skin feel so damn good like I just love it so I'm just gonna let that facial spray kind of sit do its thing on my skin I also just realized that I've already done my brows so I'm just gonna show you what I use to fill them in this right here the benefit foolproof brow powder this was a winner when it came to brows honestly it makes doing your brows as it says foolproof basically I just use the lighter color for the head of my brow and then work towards the dark color for the tail of my brow and yeah I feel like this really upped my brow game this year so this was a winner for me absolutely obsessed if you're looking for a really good brow powder this is it right here like you don't need to look anywhere else I love this so now that my skin is prepped and ready to go for makeup I'll be starting off with of course primer however I didn't really have like a favorite go-to primer to say the least like I kind of just use a lot of different ones I find but I did really like the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Soft Matte Primer that was a mouthful I'm pretty sure that's what it's called yeah that's what it's called I find that this primer does do a pretty decent job of just evening out your skin texture and giving you a nice smooth canvas to apply your makeup to so that's why I chose to use it today for foundation of course you guys know that I was gonna pull this one out Yep, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Oh my goodness, you guys. This was like the discovery of 2017 for me. Like six bucks for this baby right here. And I swear to God, it's even better than some of my higher end foundations, which is really saying something. Like, let me tell you right now, if you have not tried this, do yourself a favor and try it. Even if you don't like it, you'll only have wasted six bucks. Like it is worth the six dollars, even just to try it. This is like everything I need in a foundation and more. It just stays put on me all day long and I have super oily skin. So the fact that this stays put is just amazing. The undertone of it is amazing for my skin tone. The color that I use is golden beige. And yeah, just the finish that it gives me, man. I am obsessed with it. Like I can't say enough good things about this. So for color corrector, you guys know that I'm obsessed with really brightening up my under eyes. So this is the one that I was obsessed with throughout the entire year. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector. A lot of you guys would be familiar with it because I do use this in pretty much all of my videos. It's just so easy to use. Like, take a swipe to each eye and blend it out and you're good to go. And it really does help to brighten up the area because it counteracts the darkness with that peachy tone that it has going on. And also, another thing to note is that it is super inexpensive. Alrighty, so now for concealer, I'm sure a few of you guys would be expecting me to pull out the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I still gotta give it to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is my ride or die right here. Like, I cannot get enough of it. I swear, pretty sure this was in my last Best of Beauty for 2016, if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure I did include it in that video. And it's stuck around with me for that long. Like, I've gone through countless tubes of this stuff and it has never done me dirty. Like, this is my ride or die concealer. I can't, I can't say it enough. Like, I'm obsessed. Just the coverage is amazing. The color for my skin tone specifically is amazing. Like, the undertone that it gives me. This one is in the shade NC20. And let's not forget the fact that this concealer does not crease up on me whatsoever. I don't know if it's my technique of applying it 
or the way that I set it, but it just doesn't crease on me. Next up, you already know, the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. This is what I love to use to set my concealer in place. Like this is a go-to for me, you guys. I've gone through so many pans of this and I have heard people say that it does give them flashback. On me personally, I don't find that it does. I just feel like it kind of helps to brighten the area, but it doesn't give me flashbacks. So I really like how it looks on my skin. However, everybody is different. I personally really love it, and I'm pretty sure this runs for about 12 bucks, and it lasts for ages. Like, I've only just now hit pan on this, and I use this pretty much every single day. I also find that whenever I use this powder, I just don't get any creasing whatsoever. If you guys would be keen to see a, like, how to prevent under eye creasing kind of video, let a girl know. I know somebody has already requested I know somebody has already requested it. But yeah, if you're keen to see that, let me know because I'd love to do that for you guys. Now for face powder, this year I discovered the benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. Oh my goodness. Like what like what rock was I living under before I found this? As soon as I bought this and I started using it, I was like, wow how did I not know about this? Like I knew about it, but I never really gave into the hype. You guys, the hype is too real. Like this is such a good product. I love this color, man. I swear, the reason why I love products so much for me personally is because they really do match the undertone of my skin. I find it so difficult to find foundations, powders, concealers that kind of give me the right undertone. So whenever I find one that matches me really well, best believe I hold on to that tightly. So. This is the face powder that I love to use. If you're wondering, the shade that I'm using is Petal and I just love how it gives you the nicest finish, but it doesn't look cakey and it does give you a little extra coverage if you need it. So what I used to contour my face pretty much on all the days that I wore makeup was this, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This shade right here, this is my go-to contour shade like I love the the color of it of course but I also love that it's not too intensely pigmented I find sometimes you have contour powders where you put them on you're like wow okay like that's a little too much and it gets hard to blend them out this is like the perfect consistency for me so this was definitely my go-to shade especially when it comes to contouring my nose you guys I know it looks intense at first when I contour my nose with it but once I blend it in, it just gives me the most natural nose contour, like I'm obsessed with it. Next up, of course, is bronzer. And I did actually discover a few bronzers that I was really into this year. But I just, I still, like I have to go back to this one, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and Give Me Sun. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that this is like, this is homey right here. Like this is my ride or die bronzer. If I only had to take one bronzer with me for the rest of my life, this is it. I just love the undertone that it gives my skin, the warmth that it gives me, plus the finish of it is just really beautiful on the skin. Like, I can't say enough good things about it. And if you have a similar skin tone to mine, this is going to look so good on you, man. Like, just the color. Like, I'm obsessed. So for blush, I kind of was torn between two things, just because I don't really wear blush on a daily basis. I mean, all I need is some bronzer and I'm good to go. But I thought I had to include a blush for you guys just because this is probably the blush that I would use all the time. Like it's my go-to blush if I ever do feel like wearing blush. So of course, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. I just love the color of it and just the undertone. <laughs> I swear, everything that I talk about, I'm like, yes, the undertone, I love the undertone. But it's true, you guys, like the color of this, it's not too crazy, it's not too intense, it just gives me a really nice like flush to the cheeks, like the perfect amount of color that I need and um, yeah, this is this would be my go-to blush, I can't even talk properly. The other thing that I have to include as well, which I personally use as a blush, but I know a lot of people wouldn't use it for this purpose, but this is the Betty Luminizer. Now I'm sure you've all heard of the... Sin Mary Luminizer? Yeah, Mary Luminizer. I was gonna say Cindy Luminizer, but I'm pretty sure it's Mary Luminizer. But this right here, it's like a shimmery bronzer. And what I really like to use this for is like a blush topper or just even like as a blush. I just find it gives like the nicest glow to my skin. And usually I just, like I wouldn't even have blush on. Like I wouldn't go in with the blush, I'd just have my bronzer and then this over top. But this is looking a little bit crazy right now. Um, where's my brush? Whenever I find I've applied too much on my cheeks, I just like to go in with my brush and kind of like buff at the ed edges just to like 
comment down. Yeah, I just had to mention this because I pretty much use this every single day for my everyday makeup look, so that's why it had to be included. So the last face product that I have to include is of course highlighter. Now this, this right here was my go-to highlighter for the entire year. Like this is all I used for my everyday makeup look. Like this is all I used. I can't talk properly, man. But anyways, yes, this was my favorite highlighter of the entire year. Like it's pretty jacked up right now, but I still haven't hit pen. But look at that like look how pretty that is so this is of course the mac highlighter in oh darling i just love the finish that it gives me like check this out guys it doesn't give me like any weird texture on my skin some highlighters that are really like intensely pigmented which i know we all love but some of them they're just a little too much and you don't hear me say that often but sometimes they get crazy with it but this this right here is like perfect for every day and you can totally build it up to the intensity that you want like mm, mm, mm. and I have to give honorable mention to this brush that I'm using to highlight my face right now as well this is the Anastasia A23 highlighter brush this right here oh my goodness this changed the game when it came to highlighting like as soon as I started using this brush for my highlighter all my other brushes just like went out the window. So now that my face is done, it's time to talk about my favorite eye products. And I'm going to start off by priming my lids. You already know the NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. If you're looking for a really inexpensive, good quality eyeshadow base that is going to make your shadows last all day, this is it right here. Like this is only a few dollars. And I swear it is pretty much identical to the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. But the reason why I like this so much is because the color of it is just like, it was made for me. Also, can't forget to set that base in place. I'm just using the same powder that I used to set the concealer that I used earlier. For eyeshadows, I had a hard time picking like what my favorite eyeshadows were, but I had to give it to Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. I'm sure a lot of you probably would have guessed it, but this palette right here, man, like this is definitely a go-to for me. Like it just has everything that you could ever need to create pretty much every single look that you'd want to create. So first things first, I'm going to go into my favorite shade out of the entire palette right here. This is Creamsicle. And I'm just going to go ahead and run that through the crease back and forth. I don't actually really know what kind of look that I want to do today. I just know that I want to put this on my face right now. So <laughs> let's just go with it. While we're here, I'm also just going to take that shadow as well and run it along my bottom lash line. Let's make it out. This color though, like I'm obsessed with it, you guys. Like the entire palette was so worth it just for this shade. I don't know what it is, but I just, I'm so in love with it. So next up, I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Hunts. It looks pretty intense in the pan. The thing I love about these shadows as well is that a little definitely goes a long way. Like the color payoff is just incredible. They blend so nicely. It's just like butter. Like I swear, Jaclyn Hill, when she did this collaboration with Morphe, she really knew what she was doing and anyone who speaks badly about it I'm just like bro what are you talking about man and plus the fact that it's like made by a youtuber I swear it makes me so happy getting totally off topic here but it makes me really happy to see people just like doing their thing you know and doing well at it like it it honestly motivates me to see other YouTubers like doing so well. I've noticed a lot of like negativity going around whenever people come out with their own product. But honestly, that shit is motivating. I don't understand like how you could hate on someone for doing their thing. Like you're crazy, man. Whenever I do my eye looks, I really like to kind of mimic like what's going on on the lid, on the bottom lash line, just so the look is like all cohesive. I think I wanna take this shade right up the top here called Little Lady. It's kind of like a rose, where is it? There she is. It's like a rose gold shimmery type of shade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that onto the lid. Another thing I like to do also, this is another favorite of mine, Fix Plus. This comes in so handy when you want to just like spritz some onto your brush and your shadow. Look at that, like it's popping. It just makes it so intense. And I find that it also prevents like any fallout from happening since the moisture that's on the brush mixed with the um, eyeshadow, it just stops from any fallout happening. And 
Ooh, yes. I think I also want to take a little bit of this shimmery, fiery shade right here. This is called Firework. And I'm just going to take a little bit and just like marry it into that little lady shade just to add a little something to it. Yes. Oh yes, I like that. So now for the outer corner of my eyes, I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm pretty sure I used this a lot in tutorials wherever I was using this palette for the outer corner. Um, it's just the perfect shade for it. Really helps to define the eye and it's like the most beautiful warm brown matte shade if you don't want anything that's like too dark, which I'm not trying to do for today's look. Mm, yes, that's like a sunset. I'm also just gonna kind of bring it down slightly onto that bottom lash line just to connect everything up. And then of course, how could I forget my favorite inner corner highlight right here? This is Beam. Just watch, just you wait and see, like, mm-hmm. Yep. Do you see what I mean? Like, this is why I love this palette. Like, it has everything that you need. And this inner corner highlight is literally popping. Like, look at that. I also just like to apply a little on my brow bone. It's really pigmented, so a little goes a long way. But in saying that, like I said, these shadows are super easy to blend out. So if you apply a little too much, just blend and you'll be good. So now for eyeliner, this was my go-to eyeliner of the year, the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I just love how it's so easy to apply and I love that it's matte and it doesn't crumble on me. I know a couple of people have said that they've had difficulties working with it because it does kind of like crumble off on them. For me personally, I find that it really does stay put on me all day. So that's why I love it so much. Like this is a go-to for me. Plus it's drugstore, so it's super inexpensive. And I'll admit, like I'm not the best at creating winged liner anymore but this makes it super easy for me to do so. So a lot of you guys would know that 2017 was the year that I discovered the love of my life when it comes to mascaras. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Oh my goodness, you guys. This one that I have right here is probably on its last days. I need to go out and um, buy a new one, but hands down, best mascara that I've ever used. It makes my lashes look so long. I personally do have long lashes, but I feel like this mascara just amps them up times 100. So now for falsies, I used these so much throughout the year of 2017 that I had to like chill, pull it back and try some other things. But these right here, I have them stored in this container because I just use them all the time. These are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. I'm sure you've heard me rave on about them, but honestly, they are something like let me just put them on and you guys can see how incredible they are i don't know if it's because i naturally have really large eyes that they suit my eye shape really well but i feel like a lot of different people with different eye shapes use them and they look good on everybody so that's why I love these. Plus, they're pretty inexpensive. I do buy them online. I'll leave a link down below to where I do purchase these lashes. All right, we're down to it, guys. All that's left to do are the lips. So the lip liner that I was obsessed with this year is this right here. This is the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. Now, a lot of you guys would know that I was really into that lip liner from Rimmel called... I'm going to have to look it up and insert the name down here. How embarrassing that it's my favorite and I don't know what it's called. But yeah, this liner definitely took its place. I just feel like all the MAC lip liners are amazing. They seriously just glide on with ease and I have no issues with them. And I just really like nudes, so... It's a given that I was going to be into this one. Now you guys know I'm really into my nudes. and I have so many different shades of nude, but the one that I have to say was my favorite this year and the one that I use the most and I actually have bought multiples of this throughout the year because that's how often I've used it up is this right here. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. This color right here, you guys, this is like my go-to everyday lip color. I just feel like the shade suits me so much and I just use it pretty much every day. Not only that, it's just really easy to apply. The formula is very comfortable. It's a soft matte lip cream, so it doesn't dry your lips out. And you can totally reapply over the top if you find that it has worn away throughout the day. And it will look completely fine, and it feels really nice to apply. And then, of course, we can't forget one without the other. I always will, well, most of the time, I'll top that with the Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. This is a new one because I recently did buy another one. I've gone through, yet again, countless tubes of this throughout the year. I don't know what it is but this shade though like mmm it's beautiful it's the perfect shade I can even wear this on its own without um, any lip color underneath and it just gives you the most beautiful wash of nude 
on your lips. So that's why I really like it. That, my friends, is pretty much my makeup all done. What I usually like to do at this point is, once again, go back in with the facial spray and just douse myself in it. And I feel like that really helps to settle the product into your skin. Plus, it feels super refreshing. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it for all my favorite products. Alrighty guys, so that about wraps it up for my best of beauty for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to scroll down below, hit the little red button before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. Of course, as always, I will have a full list of everything I used in this video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you want to keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that good stuff is down below. Also, if you guys have any requests for any future videos that you want to see from me in the upcoming year, don't forget to comment them down below. I'm always down for suggestions and I just love talking to you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video.